Hi guys, this is Ranjit and yesterday Asus held an event in New Delhi. I was actually invited and I thought they'll be launching a new smartphone there. Uh, but uh, they just announced a new smartphone. They said that uh, the Asus Zenfone Max Pro that is actually made for India will be launching. But that will be launching on 23rd. But uh, on the show floor, they had a lot of uh, stuff uh, from Asus. For example, on showcase, high-end motherboards, their uh, high-end, very high-end gaming laptops had also a robot and high-end routers and stuff so i thought why not just cover that uh, maybe some of you would like that so here it goes and guys just bear with the footage uh, just got a very little time there to have to shoot it at one go so guys as you can see we have a bunch of uh, gadgets here from asus not just smartphones we have smartphones we'll get back to this but here i have rohit who will quickly guide us what it is i think so this is a gaming centric, uh, gaming -centric laptop, uh, high, -end, uh, high, -end. high end motherboard for uh, dual sli graphics Interesting. Yeah. So it'll support all the top of the line i7. Yes. Top notch gaming. This looks really, really interesting to me. What is this? This is an external GPU for yes. your laptop, any laptop. So I can make my average laptop a gaming laptop. Right? Yes, and this is future proof as well. You can swap out for a later new gen graphic cards as well. So it's, I just pull out my graphic card, put a new one, and I'm good to go. And you're sorted, yes. Interesting. Available in India? Yes, it is. Oh, interesting. Oh, this is the Lamborghini. <laughs> yeah, it's Classic. parked over there. Classic. Yes, right? yeah. This is model after the Aventador that was launched in 2007. Cutting edge back in the day. Almost, yeah. yeah. 11 years. Yes. Uh, EEPC that started the... Our very first EPC, the SO-101 with tactile keyboard, hybrid storage, totally Adam, compact. Yeah, it'll add Totally compact. Yeah. This looks weird. <laughs> it's not actually, this is state of the art actually. Okay. NX90 uh, powered by Bang & Olufsen uh, speakers designed by David Lewis. Okay. And it blends in with the modern architecture. Okay. Interesting. Uh, this is the Zenfone. This is pretty popular in India, I guess. Yes, this is our most famous Zen book uh, okay. in its uh, lightest edge. Uh, and you get the top end specs with this i7. Yes, you can spec right up to Core i7, okay. up to 16 GB of RAM and more. Okay, interesting. Uh, the pad phone. Yes, a phone, a tablet, and a laptop all in one. It was an interesting, very interesting concept when it launched. Yes, way ahead of its time, back in the day. Okay, this looks like a Zenbo, it says. Some yes. robot? This is our future from Asus. This is the Asus Zenbo. Okay. Yeah, this is your home automation uh, robo that will help you around okay. your house, manage your IoT devices, look sort after of you. Sort future proof uh, if you have it's a your, yeah. totally connected home. Yeah, system, yes, right? yes, yes, yes. Okay. You want to take a picture? Can I do that? Yeah. Let's do it. Hey Zengo, take a picture. Okay. 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 Dial it fast. All yeah. right. I will take a photo. Capture. Look this way. Three, two, one. Amazing, right? Interesting. <laughs> So this is our Tiat. Asus Tai Chi. Okay. It's got screen inside and at the back. Oh, maybe, so dual maybe screen. Working and your wife wants to watch TV or movies at the same time. Interesting, yeah, I would say. Yeah. But this was never launched in India though. Okay. Yeah. This is your gaming, uh, I think, so de desktop. All yes, in one. yes. This is our compact uh, ROG G20 desktop. Totally VR ready. Okay. T totally portable. So, the someone wants high-end gaming, this is the yeah, one to buy go. This, it's specced with the latest uh, What's CPU. the graphic card? Graphic card. You can spec this up to 1080 Ti, NVIDIA. Okay. Yeah. Ah, this is something I've seen uh, earlier, just in photographs. This looks massive. And this, this is for beast. very high-end uh, gamers. Yes, this and is And it's beast. supposed to be very, very expensive also. Yeah, it is, <laughs> it is. And uh, your cars may have a radiator, but our laptops too. <laughs> for unparalleled gaming. So this is for the hardcore gamer. Yes, it's totally water cooled. A water cooled laptop. Can you imagine that? Wow. So this is, is a different module. This disconnect. Yes, and this it's connect. a dock that allows you to dock in for more performance okay. when you're at home. Okay. Yeah. So this also looks like a gaming laptop, yeah. but a lot smaller than that. One. Yeah, the totally opposite. It's got the same kind of performance, but in a small form factor. Okay. It sports it, uh, NVIDIA 1080 Ti. Okay, I won't ask the price. Okay, <laughs> let's keep to the next. <laughs> uh, this is uh, advanced router, I guess. Yes, our AC5000 series. If you put this in uh, a mesh, you can get up to 5000 Mbps inside okay. your home. So if you have uh, other ASUS router, it will create a mesh network. Yes, 4K gaming, smooth audio, video, gaming. Yeah, all together. 
And uh, this is your all-in-one, I guess. Yeah, our all-in-one PC, and looks like the Zenfone too. <laughs> if you see. So i5, i7, all totally up to i7 back in the day, and okay. totally wireless. Okay. No clutter. Okay. So yeah, this is your gaming monitor again, a 34 inch. What's so special? I have a 34 inch LG monitor uh, that does 60 FPS. Well, the name has to say ROG. So specifically, I am assuming refresh rates. Yes. Okay. You so can boost this up to what? up to 200 hertz. Oh. And G-Sync. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Again, I won't ask for price. So yeah, uh, we have uh, Dinesh here, and we have some smartphones. Yeah. So these are the smartphones. This is what. Uh, Asus, what are they have launched? Yes, so you know we've been a pretty young company in the smartphone market, launched since 2014. Okay. But we've launched a host of innovations in the industry, which are like first to the industry as well. Okay. And now they become kind of mainstream. Okay. So we've kind of displayed a range of innovations that are there from 2014 to 2017 now. Okay. So we have the Zenfone 5, but guys, this is not the latest Zenfone 5. This was the original that was launched. Correct. It came with what, 2 GB RAM or uh, Correct. This like. was the world's first smartphone with 2 GB RAM. Okay. And at that point of time, we were naming our phones with the screen size. So this was the 5-inch phones. It was called the Zenfone 5 at that time. Okay. And now we've got the generation, which is going to come in, which is the new Zenfone 5 as a generation of 5s. Yeah. I think the Zenfone became very famous because you were the guys that released the first 4 GB RAM variant. Correct. That's right. So here it is, actually. You know, 2, right? Yeah. It's the Zenfone 2, which was the world's first okay. 4 GB RAM phone. Okay. And did very well in India as well. Oh. And so these were running Intel Atom processors. Correct, that's right. Okay. And then uh, Zenfone 2 laser uh, onwards, like you Selfie, would see. Yeah, these were these like Qualcomm. They moved to, you moved to Qualcomm. Correct. I think the Zoom was still Atom, if I'm not wrong. Uh, yes, that's right. Zoom was still Atom. And, and uh, this was actually a little bit um, special because you had optical zoom on this. Correct. This was the world's first 3x optical f uh, zoom phone, mm -hmm. which is uh, with a different kind of a system, a mechanism for proper optical zoom in a vertical okay. format. And you had OIR optics, so you get really good pictures with this phone, and it's the slimmest. 3x optical zoom phone at that point of time. Otherwise, you know, optical zoom products were really thick. Okay. So we really, you know, bought optical zoom in a very, very slim form factor. Okay. And uh, from uh, this onwards, I see. Yeah. Uh, then you moved to Qualcomm chipsets. Right? Yes, that's right. We've been on high-end Qualcomm chipsets. So like Zenfone 3 was the world's first phone on 625 processor. Okay. And Deluxe was the first phone with 821 processor. Okay. So we had the uh, top flagship uh, Qualcomm chipsets coming on it. And as you know, Zenfone 5, which is going to be launching, is again among the pioneers on the Snapdragon 845 as well. So this the Zenfone AR, uh, this one is interesting because this one has Tango support yes. as well as Daydream, if yes. I recall. Yes. Was this officially launched in India? I'm yes, yes. And in fact, it did very well uh, post-launch. Uh, and it's almost like sold out every lot that we bought into the country. So there are specific enthusiasts who buy the AR, they understand the technology and go for this product. Interesting. Then we had this one. Now, okay, today, like you guys invited me, I thought uh, you guys would be launching the Zenfone 5. That didn't uh -huh. happen, but you announced a new uh, smartphone. Yes. That is the Zenfone uh, Max uh, Pro. Yes. But I don't see that here so either. Sure. They just announced the name, okay? Yeah, That's so we are, we are <laughs> going to be actually launching Zenfone Max Pro on 23rd April so at 12.30 p.m. Okay, 23rd. Yes. Uh, and via Flipkart, I guess. Yes, it's going to be starting, you know, like it's going mm. to be available exclusively on Flipkart. Interesting. And uh, watch out for it at 12.30 p.m. It's going to be an amazing smartphone with many firsts in the segment. And it's going to be a game changer. Yeah, like uh, the device looks actually interesting. Uh, but uh, one question that uh, I also had in my mind before coming to this event, I thought you guys would be launching the Zenfone 5. Yeah, but Zenfone 5 also launches very soon. Uh, Zenfone Max Pro is the phone which is made for India. Yeah. And it comes with, again, Snapdragon 636 processor. Okay. So it's going to be an amazing introduction. We start with Zenfone Max Pro and then we soon move to Zenfone 5 as well. Shortly there. So guys, uh, as you can see, uh, like uh, Zenfone 5 is launching. We don't know the date. I asked him when. Can you tell us the date? Very soon is all that I can say. <laughs> At this stage, <laughs> watch out for it. So, but we know the Max Pro is coming out on 23rd. So, let's see. Uh, yes. If you guys send me a review unit on time, I'll definitely try to review that. So, let's stay tuned. Uh, so, guys, that, this was a very quick video. Just wanted to showcase uh, what Asus had. It's not just smartphones, but high-end computing, uh, Wi-Fi, networking equipment, and a lot of stuff. So, guys, uh, stay tuned and um, hopefully... Uh, I'll be also be covering the Max Pro and let's see when we get the Zenfone 5 also in India. Yes, very soon. Thank you, Ranjit. Thank you, guys. Thank uh, you. Take care. Yeah. Catch you guys later. Bye-bye.